Good morning, everybody. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I've combined my channels, as you know now, because only this one is slightly monetized. Today, I want to talk to you about lithium batteries, uh, cell phones, anything with a lithium battery, and how you're destroying your batteries, you don't even know it, and how to extend the life of your batteries with a very simple couple little tricks. Every device with a lithium battery, cell phones, laptops, um, power supplies like this, solar generators, uh, tablets, portable power banks, anything with a lithium ion battery can benefit from this. I have some examples here. I have an 18650, which you find in your flashlights or in your laptops. It's a very, very common battery. Um, a very important point for this video is also the use of these in power walls and DIY solar power applications, any DIY, e-bikes, any DIY application. These little things are becoming very, very popular. I have here another example. This is from Amazon Kindle. I happen to have a lot of, well, I got over 5,000 batteries from batteryhookup.com, by the way. Go there, use the code DIYTube and save 5% on your purchase. Although DIYTube doesn't exist anymore, the code DIYTube will save you 5%. And I've got over 5,000 batteries here. Although these were secondhand, I can bring them back to life and I can use them almost to their fullest capacity. And that's really cool, but that's a different video for the future. Anyway, cell phone batteries, tablets, everything that has a battery will benefit from this very simple trick. And this is very simple. I have a mess of cell phones here, and I have more. Uh, every year we used to get a new cell phone on Black Friday. Uh, we don't anymore. This one's going on its third year. But every year we would get a new phone on Black Friday at their discounts uh, because it was cheap. And we always wanted something cool and new. Uh, you can see they went from small to bigger, 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 and bigger. And that's why we stopped. It was the biggest we could get. But anyway, every one of these works. Still today. Because I've used this one trick that I've, I've known for years. And I've thought about sharing with you all this time. Well, today is the day. So, with our handheld devices like a cell phone, we are given 100% control over the battery capacity. I don't know of any devices that don't in our normal use. Now your your EV tries to extend the life of the batteries by not giving you 100% control. But in your phones, in all your handheld devices like this, they give you 100% control to 100% of your battery capacity. So you can charge this up to 100% and you can discharge all the way down to zero. Your cell phone battery can be greatly extended by keeping it in a, in a shorter range. I always terminate my charge at 80%. And I never go, low, go below 30% of my cell phone battery capacity. Now, there's a uh, web page. Um, I didn't get permission uh, to use it, so I'm just going to mention it in passing. And I'm not going to show it to you, but I use Battery University's website for referencing. Even now, even though I have the numbers in my head, I still reference it a lot because they've done extensive studies on all types of batteries, all battery technology. But specifically, we're talking about the lithium ion today. And they have done very extensive tests on battery capacity versus charge and discharge levels. And they found that, and check this out, this is really insane. Your, your battery is rated for 3.7 volts. All right, that's the nominal. Well, you can charge this up to 4.2 volts max without suffering any immediate damage. All right, 
and you can discharge it down all the way to I believe 2.5 or 2.7 anything below that and some of the circuits start to shut these down to protect them the thing though is that they found that for every one tenth of a volt below the maximum allowed manufacturer stated charge voltage every one tenth below that you double your capacity so your standard lithium ion your standard 18650s for example are rated at 500 cycles and under good care and use all right you can abuse these things but they found that instead of charging to 4.2 volts if you charge to 4.1 volts you now get a thousand cycles if you charge to 4.0 volts you get 2000 cycles that is an incredible difference just for charging these a little bit less all right that is an amazing huge difference and i don't see this hardly at all mentioned in the, in the off-grid DIY community or even for your phones i don't see this anywhere Maybe somebody has said something somewhere, but I've not seen it in all the years I've been studying batteries and using them. The, that is a massive thing. Now, it goes even further. Your discharge capacity, the lower you discharge the capacity of your battery, the less cycles you have. And forgive my lighting. It is what it is. The less cycles you have. So, if you reduce how much you consume of your battery capacity and again this is for for phones specifically tablets computers really big deal for off-grid homesteading and diy power wall applications really big deal the if you go from a hundred percent to zero percent you get 500 cycles as long as you don't abuse it there's a lot of other variables a lot of variables but just talking about voltages today if you go rather from 80 percent charge to maybe 30 percent discharged you're going to greatly extend the life of your battery that's a big deal now on your phones we have this wonderful thing we have a battery um charge we have a battery capacity setting right here on top it tells us my battery is at 68 percent all right that's convenient in that they show us our capacity and our batteries right on the cell phone it's so good it's right there so now you know when you charge your phone stop at 80 or 90 percent and don't go below 30 or 40 percent and you will greatly extend the life of your phone battery tablet or whatever kindle anything that has a battery capacity uh, meter a percentage rating which is perfect it's so easy it can't get easier stop the charge before it's a hundred percent even ninety percent is good right you're gonna save and extend the life of your battery don't over, don't don't fully charge it don't fully discharge it and these can go on for years now the cell phone companies want you to buy a new phone every one or two years so, you know, they don't care if you charge it all the way and discharge it all the way. So they give you 100% control of your battery. 100% of the capacity is available to you. And you are in full control of this battery. Full. Um, normally, like in the EV industry, you wouldn't want to do that because the EV uh, manufacturers, they don't want you to blow up your batteries or wear them out or abuse them in the first couple of years because they're going to have to replace it under guarantee so they reserve some of that capacity on the high end and the low end so you can't wreck it and then as your battery ages in your EV and I might be wrong but it's from what I've loosely studied as your battery ages they give you a little bit more of that capacity to extend the range of your battery so it keeps going close to its original stated mileage and that is very beneficial for those batteries. Any one of these batteries will benefit from that. Again, your laptop has a percentage, 0 to 100% rating in it. Your tablet, everything, they all have, well, most of these devices have a percentage rating. Even your solar generator has a percentage rating. Um, 
you can stop at 90% and don't discharge below a certain percent. This particular one stops at 60%, which can be annoying because its original rated um, capacity is not available. But then again, you're not going to wreck your battery, so it does extend the life of the device. It's just that once you know that, you got to realize you don't have access to 100% of that capacity, but this will charge to 100%. But the thing that might, makes me frustrated and upset to no end, oh, we'll get to that, but we're going to talk about chargers. One more thing. Don't leave it charged all night. Don't leave it on the charger all night because you're, you're going to reduce the, the life of your battery. So plug it in when you're around. Unplug it when it's done, and don't leave it plugged in. Lithium batteries do not need a constant trickle or a top-off or, um, what do you call it? There's the way lead-acid batteries charge. You can leave them on on a trickle charge forever, and they benefit from that. Lithium-ion batteries do not benefit from that. Um, heat, the warmer a battery is, the lower its life span. So don't leave these in the dash or the rear of your car and in the windows. Put it under your seat or take it with you in your back pocket or your purse or whatever. Don't leave these in a hot place. Don't leave it outdoors in the sun on the beach. Put a towel over it. Keep your battery power devices cool because anytime they get hotter you reduce the life of the battery. When you're storing them, keep them in a cool place. These I keep here in my office all the time because um, it doesn't get really hot in here and it doesn't get really cold in here. Um, I have a jacket on because it's not really warm in here, but it's also not really cold or really hot. So it extends the life of these. None of my, my, none of my batteries have ever puffed out, or, and they all still work. So... That's for the batteries that you have. Now, the thing that bugs me to no end, and I have a mess of different chargers here, and 18650s, we have a variety of smart chargers. That, that's a USB smart charger. There's a very, very awesome smart charger that'll take any type of batteries, but specifically I'm talking about 18650s right now. We have... Flat pack chargers, plug in the wall little smart flat pack chargers for batteries such as the, the Kindle. And we have these tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny little circuit board chargers. Really tiny. These are very popular in the DIY market. This is the TP4056 um, little charging circuit. It's really tiny. Um, does a really good job at... They're crazy cheap. They have um, a connection for your battery, and they have a USB plug. And they have two LEDs. One shows it's charging, one shows it's done. does a good job for what it's programmed to do. But what annoys me, every single one of the chargers on the market destroys your batteries. Every single one of these is programmed to charge all the way up to 4.2 volts, absolute maximum rating of your battery. Every one of them. They assume, and for many people maybe that's true, but they assume that you want maximum energy. Don't worry about cycle life, about lifespan of your battery. Get the maximum amount of energy out of that battery every single time. Forget it, burn them up, use them up in a couple years and throw them away and buy new. Every one of these devices is designed to max out your battery to the very fullest top peak voltage that it can handle. That's the absolute maximum ratings of the manufacturer. Doesn't mean we should do it. Your car might go to 150 miles an hour. Doesn't mean you should do it. Okay? So, these annoy me in that every single one of these devices goes to 4.2 volts and you cannot change that. You cannot terminate that charge unless you manually pull it out. 
This one doesn't give you any idea. This sure doesn't give you any idea. This has a minimal display, but I believe it was a bar graph. There's four or five um, LEDs indicators, which doesn't really give you a good indicator. These are really good. If you monitor it, you can get the percentage of, of uh, and the voltage on these. These digital ones, these are really, really good. If you monitor it, you can pull out the battery on time. This is a through night. I love the through night. They are very, very, very smart chargers, but they do terminate on their own at 4.2 volts. If you do monitor it though, and you watch, and you can mix and match batteries in here, and if you monitor each and every one individually, you can pop it out your own self. I am working on a circuit. I want to develop something like this. I have it on paper. I have experimentally, I have prototypes, but I, I want to develop a circuit like this that will terminate at whatever voltage you want to give you the control over your batteries because for the DIY market with any of these, the flat packs, the round batteries, people who are recycling all the 18650s as you see in my experiments, all the batteries being used, all the chargers are just designed to max out and it reduces the life cycle. For the power walls, the do-it-yourself market, the e-bike market, all the people powering their homes for the off-grid community, every one of you will greatly benefit from having 10 years life instead of two. Wouldn't that be nice? With this simple trick, you can get many, many, many more years out of your bat. Let's just sum it up. Terminate at 80-90%. Don't discharge below 30-40%. Keep it out of the heat. Cold isn't going to hurt it so much. It just reduces the amount of power it has at the time. If you're storing it, store it in a cool place. That's better. And you will greatly extend the life of your batteries exponentially. Every one of these still work. And from time to time, I pull them out, charge them, and put them back on the shelf. Speaking of storage, one last point that I forgot. I'm happy I mentioned these. When you're storing a device for long term, charge it to 80% and leave it there on the shelf in a cool, dry place. Charge it to 80% and leave it there. Lithium-ion batteries do not like to be charged fully and left on the shelf. The best thing you can do for them for storage, 80%, put it on the shelf and leave it there. And from time to time, bring them back up a little bit and they'll last for years. One more thing, bit of a, 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 a spoiler alert, something I've been working on for well over a year. Be right back. I've been running some hardcore long-term tests on recycling batteries, lithium-ion batteries, and this, these were Dell server backup batteries. That's the case of these batteries. I have found that when stored properly, these are from like 2011. Some of the dates on these are 2011, 2011. And I am getting up to full capacity out of these batteries. That is normally you're told that's not possible. Normally we are told battery old, battery bad. But if they're stored properly, you can keep them around for many, many, many years. And with that, I will close this video. Check out the article. I'll have an accompanying article with all these details. It is not working on mobiles at this time. There's a glitch in my software. I've got to fix it. I've been really busy on other things. I'll hope to get that soon on uh, any normal sized uh, computer desktops that's working. Sorry about that. But the article usually has a lot of details and you can go over it later on and refer to it. And uh, I do have a forum up, the Do It Yourself World Forum. I'll put the link down below. 
Love to see you guys on there. And if you got questions, discussions, or whatever, it's easier for me to follow there than on the comments. Please subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned for some more cool videos to come. Talk to you later.